वेलकम टू माई चैनल एस एस अकेडमी टूडे वी विल स्टडी मैस एंड एनर्जी टेबल ऑफ कॉन्टेंट्स न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी मैस एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन आइंस्टाइन मैस एनर्जी इक्वेशन रेस्ट मैस मैस डिफेक्ट एंड एग्जाम्पल इन द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑन न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स इन एडिशन टू इंट्रोडक्शन एंड हिस्ट्री वी स्टडीड अबाउट फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स एंड रेडियो एक्टिव डिकेज एनर्जी इज रिलीज वेन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ एन अनस्टेबल एटम डिकेज to calculate the amount of energy released by radioactive decays that is during alpha beta and gamma decay we need to know the masses of the particles involved nucleons are held together by strong nuclear forces therefore it is more difficult to remove a nucleon from the nucleus than to remove an electron from an atom the energy released in a nuclear decay is measured in electron volts and associated per nucleus ranges from thousands to millions of electron volts and 1 electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 raise to the power minus 19 joules alpha and beta decays involve transformation of new elements except gamma decay in which no new element is formed and only gamma ray photons are emitted with the release of large amount of energy therefore in an alpha decay uranium atom does not just break apart into thorium and alpha particle but these particles fly apart at high speed that is have very high kinetic energies the total mass of the two smaller particles thorium and alpha particles is less than the mass of the original uranium therefore at high energies bodies have more mass than in a lower energy state the amount of extra mass is insignificant in everyday life as it is very small but in nuclear and high energy physics energy changes are large hence the changes in mass are significant the total amount of mass and energy in a system is constant this is known as law of mass energy conservation einstein's mass energy equation e is equal to mc square this is the world's most famous equation and is derived from einstein's revolutionary special theory of relativity which is based on two postulates number 1 physical laws are the same in all frames of reference the speed of light is a universal constant at very high speeds the properties of mass and time are changed dramatically and in this equation e is equal to mc square c is the speed of light in free space and its value is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second or precisely c is equal to 2997924584 meter per second the equation is a starting conclusion that is mass and energy are one and is one of the several extraordinary breakthroughs that einstein made in 1905 energy and mass are interchangeable they are different forms of the same thing rest mass rest mass of the particle means when it is at rest or is stationary nuclear masses are measured using mass spectrometers often to seven or eight significant figures mass is greater when the particle is moving because of its increase in energy mass defect <clears throat> difference between the total mass of the individual separate nucleons and the mass of the nucleus is known as mass defect loss in mass implies that energy is released in the process energy released is calculated by using the equation e is equal to mc square this equation applies to all energy changes including chemical changes as well and not just nuclear processes like fission fusion and radioactive decays amount of energy seems very small but is significant on the scale of an atom and when we compare it with amount of energy released in a chemical reaction example now we will consider the example of alpha decay of plutonium when plutonium decays into daughter nuclei uranium 235 and helium with the release of large amount of energy so in this equation we will calculate from this equation the masses of the particles for plutonium its mass is 239.052157 units and mass of uranium 235 is 235.043924 unit and mass of alpha particle is 4.002602 unit and we will add together these two masses and 
we get 239.046526 unit which is less than the mass of the plutonium therefore delta m which is the mass defect will be equal to when we subtract masses of these particles from mass of plutonium so it comes out to be 0 0.0005631 unit so this is delta m and in this equation e is equal to delta m c square when we substitute this value and we know that one unit atomic mass unit is equal to 931.5 million electron volt per c square therefore this equation comes out to be e is equal to 0 0.005631 times 931.5 million electron volt divided by c square into c square so energy is 5.25 million electron volts most of this energy becomes kinetic energy of the alpha particle or helium nucleus which moves away at high speeds.